From walking death row to crossing the stage for his college diploma, a man sentenced to death for murder in Louisiana and later exonerated received a college degree here in North Texas this weekend. Fox 4's David Centendry shares his story of perseverance. I wore this every day. Arrested for murder, sentenced to death row, Ryan Matthews spent five years in prison while wearing this orange jumpsuit. Now, as a free man, he's wearing a cap and gown. Did you believe you were going to be exonerated, or did you think for certain you were going to die? I knew it could have happened. Matthews first wore a cap and gown while graduating kindergarten. Little did that child know he'd be charged with murder at 17, sentenced to death row at 19, missing out on what typical teenagers do. Things that stand out, high school, college, playing a sport, all of these different things, you know, your first call. Matthews and a friend were accused of killing a grocery store owner in an attempted robbery. The getaway car was a similar color as his friend's vehicle, but a different body style. Police pulled them over and brought them in for questioning. They wouldn't be free until years later. He had 11 white jurors and one black. Matthew's sister says he was convicted despite inconsistent witness testimonies. This was just a huge miscarriage of justice. You stuck in a a six by nine foot cell, 23 hours a day. It's hard, but I had to stay strong, you know. I had to stay strong for my family that was out there. He read books while on death row. I had to prepare myself like I'm about to get out the next day. And eventually, in 2004, after DNA evidence cleared Matthews of the crime, he was released and immediately worked towards an education. Within two months of my release, I got my GED. We were very fortunate. I guess, you know, to say the least, because we were able to advocate for Ryan. There are a lot of families that totally deteriorate when things like this happen. Now, fast forward to this weekend. It felt like all my work finally paid off. Matthews graduated with a bachelor's degree from Texas Women's University. When I see this and look where I'm at now, progress. Wronged by an imperfect system, he doesn't carry a grudge. I'm not holding on to it. I know what that does to people when they hold on to something negative like that. Eat them up. Only carrying the will. It's a different story when I'm out here. You know, it's like I'm learning all over again. To make up for lost time. David Centendry, Fox 4 News.